Um, Iceland is an, an incredible experience. Um, it is a combination of the most unbelievable nature um, surrounding <clears throat> and infusing a completely delightful, small, um, accessible, sophisticated Scandinavian city. Um, and, but the best part about Iceland is the Icelanders, because they make you really feel at home here. Over the, I've been coming to the Reykjavik International Film Festival for the last 10 years, um, and I've watched it grow, and I've watched um, the programming prosper, um, and the crowds uh, get larger, and yet it's a very hospitable film festival that has been uh, carefully curated by uh, um, people in the, the film business who really have extensive contacts with all of the major festivals in the world from Cannes to Toronto to Berlin to Sundance to you name it. Um, and those films are here for people to see. And I've brought people with me. I've brought groups of people from around the United States um, and had them stay here at the Hotel Hold, I might add, uh, because it's a soft place to fall. It's an incredibly, uh, it's like being at home in, in, in so many ways you can't imagine. Um, and so that, and it allows the, us all to be very busy going to the, the films um, during the festival and seeing the, not only the movies, but the, the directors who talk about their works after the films and um, in panels where you can, the audience gets to participate. It's really like being um, at, a, at one of the world's great international film festivals in a very uh, hospitable and welcoming city. I do, um, but I'm partial. I brought the American film director James Gray to the Reykjavik Film Festival. <coughs> James um, brought his film, his new film, The Immigrant, which had its world premiere at the Cannes Film Festival, where I saw it. Um, he brought that film to Reykjavik. Um, it stars Marion Cotillard and Jeremy Renner and Joaquin Phoenix. It was a big hit uh, in Cannes. It's a big hit here at the festival. People really liked seeing it, and James was here along with the film to talk about it uh, and talk about making it. and. Uh, and and parse some of the meaning of the film, which is what the pleasure is of coming to a film festival, because it's nice to talk about, you know, what a film means, uh, not just, you know, what did it cost. Um, and also, I brought a couple of his other earlier films, Two Lovers, with Gwyneth Paltrow and, um, and Joaquin Phoenix, uh, and his first film, Little Odessa. So it was kind of a, um, a little James Gray adventure, partially because James then went to Bessestadir, the presidential official residence, and received award the Golden Puffin Award. Um, so it was really quite quite a lot of fun. Let me think of what I can remember of our Icelandic films. Um, I've liked Icelandic films actually for a number of years. Um, one of the first ones I ever saw was Cold Fever by uh, Friedrich Thor Friedrichsen and produced by a friend of mine, Jim Stark, going back maybe 20, 25 years ago. Um, and ever since I've watched Icelandic films and watched the industry grow and explode, one of the films that I thought was incredibly good uh, in the last couple of years was a film called Volcano. Um, and because it was about big themes, um, people at the end of their lives, their children going on, uh, trying to take meaning from it, um, very much in tune with uh, the Icelandic sagas, um, but in a very contemporary way. It was a terrific film. Um, and it was reminiscent of a film that actually ended up winning the Academy Award, but wasn't quite as good, and that was Amor. So there's a lot to see uh, from Icelandic filmmakers who are, uh, for a, a, a small volcanic spit, uh, making a lot of really interesting movies. Well, 
You know, there are, there are really a lot of wonderful film festivals. There are professional film festivals like Cannes and Toronto um, and uh, Sundance. And I those are all useful for me as a film critic um, because they show all of the latest new work that hasn't been seen anywhere before. Um, but for pure pleasure's sake, I love going to uh, Palm Springs Film Festival. I love coming to Reykjavik because it's just such a gas of a city. It's so much fun. And, you know, one of the things that I never thought about and never expected before I came to Reykjavik um, was the level of cuisine, not just films. The food is really good. So you go see, you know, some good movies and then you come out and you have a first rate, you know, seafood dinner or a lamb dinner that just makes the eye, your eyes, you know, uh, pop in your you're completely happy. Um, other film festivals that I, I, I like, um, they're, they're just, there are many of them. Um, you know, uh, Montreal is always sort of pleasurable. And um, yeah, you know, uh, come here. I like this one. Um, <clears throat> I like movies. Um, that take me places that I can't get to uh, either physically in the world uh, easily or uh, places intellectually that I haven't thought uh, through things uh, sufficiently or emotionally that touch me. I like surprises. I like movies that don't just do the obvious when the movie starts out. Um, I like movies that engage, you know, a lot of times, uh, we expect, you know, particularly in America, we expect movies to entertain us. And most of the rest of the world also thinks that it should engage us. It should be about life on planet Earth and not just some guy jetting around in a jet suit. And those are the kinds of films that are on display in a film festival like Reykjavik or in a film festival like the Cannes Film Festival. Um, those are the kinds of movies I like. I like movies about characters and the way characters and people um, are challenged by some of the big forces in the world and some of the little forces in their lives um, and how they go through them and are changed uh, by them and how they change themselves. Um, <clears throat> well, there's, there's, you know what's, what's actually fun about going to movies? Okay. Sometimes it feels like it's, uh, I feel like a, a scout for a sporting team. In, in America, I would say for baseball. You know? uh, it's fun seeing new talent. It's fun seeing young talent emerge. Um, it's fun looking for the, the sort of young directors because they're ambitious. They really want to say um, new things. They want to take the society by the throat and shake it a little bit. Um, and as they get older, they frequently become better filmmakers, um, but with a little bit less passion um, to say uh, things that are, are big. Um, and so that's what's fun for me, is looking for, for new young talent.